Hey guys, welcome to Evolve RC. This is Des. Um, today we're going to uh, do a power test on this Viper HSD. Um, this is the 75 millimeter Viper Jet EDF uh, EDF Jet from Banana Hobby. Um, you see it here for 249. This is the Radio Fly one. I believe um, that's just a 4S version, though. So if you let's see, if you see how this is upgrade. 6s version you have to add twenty dollars more to that so um, for its version i believe it's ready to fly is 249 and add twenty dollars more for a 6s version but um so i picked up i picked up the motor um because uh, here you well we like to do a lot of scratch builds so um you know we don't really uh, either buy a kit and uh and then put a souped up motor or a performance motor in it or a fully scratch build uh, from you know from either balance or a foam board but anyway so you can see the specs here it's um let's see if we can zoom in a little bit better the 20 the 2600 kv is the 4s version and uh the 2000 kv is the 6s and uh see the flying weight is about that 51 ounces so that three three something pounds 3.1 3.2 pounds i believe is the flying weight and it runs off a 60 amp PSC, um, so pretty good specs. Um, in the video, it looks pretty impressive. Um, I was very curious to see what kind of power the 6S unit puts out. So um, I already got it set up here. Um, it's already on my scale. As you can see, uh, you can see the HSD on that um, on the what do you call the EDF unit itself. Uh, it's got the markings over here, and you can see that. On that yellow sticker, this is the 6S 3060 size motor, uh, 2000 kV. Um, this I've installed a six-inch straight-through thrust port. You can see it's an eight-blade fan. Uh, looks pretty nice. So this one's already well uh, balanced from the factory. So this is the straight thrust port. It's not tapered in any which way. So um, I had to to make it more real, like uh, as if it was on the jet. I had to put this thrust port on because. Um, as you know, when you install the CDF, it's going to be blowing through the fuselage of the, the jet. So, if you if you were to take off this thrust port, um, it's it's going to have a little bit more static thrust. Obviously, because there's no resistance, it's just in and straight out from, from the EDF unit. But with the thrust port, it's supposed to um, uh, create some efflux to, uh, speed or something like that. It's supposed to increase the speed of the, I guess the the thrust itself of the wind blowing through the um, through the blades or whatnot. So it's to increase uh, speed and, and not necessarily thrust but um, more so speed. Uh, like I said if you had taken this away it would have more static thrust but um, I put that on so it's more realistic um, uh, to cre recreate as if it's blowing through the jet's fuselage. But anyways um, I got two Turnigy 6S batteries here uh, it's a 35C uh, discharge uh, and a 45C burst. I got two of them just so that I could mimic a very high performance battery. Uh, 3000 3, 6S 35C should be more than enough for this motor, but I just want to do overkill. Uh, for example, if you had like a high performance 65C, I want to make it something like that at least. So I put two of them together in parallel, so I have a parallel wiring set up here. and. Um, we got this extreme um, power analyzer. It's gonna show us uh, where you see the bolts. It's gonna show us live how much the bolts are dropping as you throttle. Where the A is, that's gonna show our amp draw, and a W is gonna show the, the wattage. So um, I'm gonna power this up, and uh, we should zero itself out. As you can see, it zeroes out. So even with that on the scale, it's still at zero. It's on grams, so I'm gonna switch it to uh, pounds so we can show pounds of thrust. And um, see if I push down on it, you're gonna see it move, um, and that's just gonna show how much stress, and which is what we want to uh, record here. So, um, let's see if I can zoom in everything properly here, catch everything, and uh, I'm gonna throw it up. I'm gonna yell out full when I hit full throttle, and um, we'll see what happens. So uh, 
that's a 3.6 pounds of thrust. I didn't really look at um, how much watts or amps it was pulling, but I have to review the video to find out. But um, it seems to be pretty good power. Um, I believe it was 40 something amps um, from what I thought I saw. But um, uh, not as strong as the Dr. Matt Thrust motor. The Dr. Matt Thrust 2600 QB on 6S, which is a 70 millimeter. EDF minute on 10 blade that I've done before uh, that puts out 4.5 pounds of thrust so that has more power um, this one is an 8 blade but it is a bigger unit by 5 millimeters only um, and I think I saw 3.6 pounds of thrust so roughly lacking about uh, a pound of thrust uh, difference uh, even though it's a bigger unit it has a little bit less thrust but, um, but definitely more efficient uh, it was only 40 something amps. The Dr. Matt thrust putting 4.5 pounds of thrust on 6S on the same battery pack, I believe, uh, maxes out at 78 amps. Pulling like almost double the amount of amps that this guy is putting out in power wise. But uh, thrust wise, it's, it's, it's decent. Um, I was expecting more from a 75 millimeter, and uh, especially on 6S, I was expecting more um, because um, the Matt thrust. 3300. I, I have a test on here. It's on a, my scratch build uh, Tiger here. This one's got the Dr. Matt Dust 3300 KV. Um, made for a 64 millimeter EDF unit, but I stuffed a 70 on it. I put it in the 70 and I put 12 blades on that as you can see. It's a 12 blade fan. Um, I already did a thrust test on this. Um, I didn't post a video yet, but hopefully I get time to post it soon. Um, this setup here on 4S only puts out 3.5 pounds of thrust, so uh, pretty much equivalent to what the 6S motor is doing. So on 4S, so on a lighter setup too, so um, it is pulling more amp on, uh, more current on that Tiger, on the F5 Tiger jet there, but um, on 4S, um, 3.5 pounds of thrust, uh, 12 blades, pretty impressive. I believe it's only pulling like 60, 60 something amps, so, which is not too bad actually. Uh, anyways, um, hope you guys liked the video and uh, please scratch builders out there. Hopefully this video is useful uh, in helping you guys decide whether this would be a, a great motor uh, to put in your jet. Um, I think it's a good motor, um, not as strong as uh, the Mad Thrust, like I said, but um, definitely a, a good motor. Um, but anyways, um, it, it felt pretty strong. I could feel all the wind from above, how much pressure it's putting on a viewpoint. Six pounds of thrust is, is, is pretty uh, pretty impressive actually, but um, I, I did expect more from a 6S setup on a 75 millimeter uh, fan unit. So um, maybe if they came up with like a 10 blade on there, um, definitely probably hit the four pound thrust benchmark easily, or even more, maybe in 4.2. But um, if you guys like the video, please post a like and uh, please post any questions or comments that you may have. And uh, until next time.